This question is from Stacy. So Stacy has premature ovarian insufficiency and she's trying to get pregnant with her second. Doctors are telling her that she needs to take hormone replacement therapy or HRT. Um, so is that a good idea or will it stop my chances of getting pregnant? Hey there, welcome to Ask the Fertility Experts, a daily Q&A show where we'll be answering your fertility questions. I'm Sarah Clark, founder of Fab Fertile. We specialize in low AMH, high FSH, diminished ovarian reserve, and premature ovarian insufficiency or failure. I will be joined by Dr. Tabitha Barber. She is triple board certified in obstetrics, gynecology, menopause, and functional medicine. If you have a question, simply go to Fab Fertile Inc. on Instagram, leave me a DM and drop your question there. And we will answer your question on an upcoming show. That's Fab Fertile Inc. on Instagram. Take care. This question is from Stacy. So Stacy has premature ovarian insufficiency and she's trying to get pregnant with her second. Doctors are telling her that she needs to take hormone replacement therapy or HRT. Um, so is that a good idea? or will it stop my chances of getting pregnant? Um, she's not having any kind of hot flashes or anything like that, but her, she's got very low energy and low mood. So, you know, definitely as part of our fab fertile method, um, you know, we're always looking at diet and lifestyle changes. And sometimes the, you know, bringing in bioidenticals or hormone, hormone replacement therapy is, is needed to, to, to kickstart things all, you know, obviously doing it in conjunction with those, those diet and lifestyle changes. So what's your take, Dr. Tabitha? Yeah. So we say test, don't guess, you know, don't go based just on your symptoms. If your period is missing and that's how they're diagnosing premature ovarian insufficiency or failure, get testing done because thyroid disorders can cause you to not have a period elevated prolactin from a, you know, a tumor in your brain, things like that. There's different reasons that your period might be irregular and you might not even have premature ovarian insufficiency. And we used to call it failure and now we call it insufficiency because what we've realized is that it's not a one-time diagnosis and a life sentence. Your ovaries continue to try their darndest to come back to life and to turn back on. There's a communication between your brain and ovaries that is constantly going back and forth. And that communication gets disrupted for a lot of different reasons, but it can come back online when you least expect it. But it can definitely come back online with the help of like Sarah's program, the Fab Fertile Method, because it's influenced by so many factors. And so you need to do testing. You need to see what does your FSH level look like on cycle day three and 10 over multiple months, not just one time. See, are you consistently not producing estrogen or ovulating and producing progesterone? Check a prolactin level, get your thyroid evaluated in detail. Like don't just accept this diagnosis and walk away feeling like nothing can be done because there's so much that can be done. And what about the HRT piece, you know, starting that, that was her. Yes. Yeah. So if in fact you, your ovaries aren't producing the hormones you need to be cycling and reproductive, oftentimes when we use bioidentical in particular, you want to stay away from any conjugated equine estrogen or synthetic progestins. But if you use bioidentical hormone therapy in a cyclical fashion, that communication can come back online and oftentimes start to grow that lining back and help you to actually ovulate and get pregnant again. So I'm all for it. And so she's not having those hot flashes, uh, but she's got low mood and low energy. So we might need to check her cortisol pattern. We might need to see what her adrenals are doing because the adrenals, the ovary and the thyroid, they all ping pong off of each other. It's like this triangle of connections that they talk to each other and they take on the burden for each other. And so if your adrenals are struggling, your sex hormones are going to downregulate and vice versa. So all of that needs to be evaluated. It's never like, you can't just determine anything based on one piece of the puzzle. Absolutely. Dig, dig deeper.
Thanks so much for being here. If you've got a question that you want answered, simply go to Fab Fertile Inc. on Instagram, send me a DM, and we will answer your question on an upcoming show. That's Fab Fertile Inc. and send me a DM. And please refer to our disclaimer below. Take care.